and it's data that we've obtained through uh, various law enforcement agencies and others who are involved uh, in making sure the laws are upheld around the world. Um, Interpol, Europol, uh, information from the major leagues in the United States, uh, the Crime Commission in Australia and so on, have all told us that the bad guys who are involved in match fixing are the same bad guys who are involved in distributing steroids and, and other prohibited substances. And they make a lot of money out of it. So they're going on with it because they can make money and there's almost no risk of going to jail. Supporting the fight against